What do you mean you don't want to review this product? It's a brand new earbuds. What? Too shy? So Super EQ by One Audio released a brand new product called Q2 Pro. I've been told it's actually a very good uh, sound quality earbuds and it has touch control, hybrid active noise cancellation, 30 hours of play time and transparency mode. But if you actually look into the details of the specification, it has a Bluetooth version of 5.2, which is above 5.0. I think anything that is beyond above 5.0 means it's really good because when you look at people speaking, uh, on a video clip that sound would be almost synchronized with the lip movement that's how i would like to categorize anything above 5.0 so it's 5.2 which is really good play time of 11 hours with anc off and eight hours with anc on so that's pretty good that's for the earbud itself and the charging case itself could be up to 48 hours without the anc and 20 hours with anc on so it sounds all good I like the package. I like the green color. It's one of my favorite green color. It reminds me of Tiffany and so on. So let's get into the unboxing and test it with my dear bruv. So here it goes. Okay, so let's get my Higo no Kami knife on. Very smooth indeed. And it's all good to go. That's nice. Seal, which I could take it off. You can see the USB-C and pretty standard actually. It reminds me of the Sony XM4 earbuds. We've got the short USB-C cable here, which I'll just keep it because we've got so many of them. Spare different size of earplugs and then a user guide. So with the Bluetooth pairing, it's pretty straightforward. You don't need an app. And regards to the control, I'm sure it's the same as any other Bluetooth um, touch control sensor. So please do pause and have a quick look. So the quick size comparison between Sony XM4 because it kind of reminds me of the Sony XM4 earbuds uh, case. So um, on top, you can see that it's actually slightly slimmer. On the front side, it's actually slightly taller. Same sort of writing on the bottom. This actually has a wireless capacity, but this doesn't. On the back side, it's similar. We've got both um, USB-C sort of plug in and um, opening feel. Obviously, we don't, we're don't. we not happy with the XM4 openings and closed feeling. It's very cheap. It's actually slightly more self settled compared to the XM4. But if you look at the earbuds itself, it's kind of light, um, but it's nice with the gold sort of ring on with an S on it. So unless you know which company it is, you know it's like a kind of high quality built um, earbuds. It's a um, nice feeling overall. So let's do a quick sound test on the Super EQ Q2 Pro uh, with a soundtrack called the um, Ocean of Thought by Artificial Dot Music. So here it goes.
Okay, so let's do a quick sound comparison against my Sony XM4 earbud, shall we? So here it goes. What do you mean by Super EQ Q2 Pro sounds almost the same quality as Sony XM4? I made you to carry out this test, but you're actually tempting me to actually carry out the test. I should carry out the test myself. So I got the XM4 earbuds plugged into my left hand side ear. On the right hand side, I got the Q2 Pro plugged in and both of them are simultaneously connected to my Z4 III. Uh, so let's listen to the same track. So here it goes. Both of them are in ANC mode, by the way. That's amazing. I can't tell the difference. They're literally the same. Okay, so for the XM4 earbud sound mode, let's see what sort of sound settings I have. Yeah, I got it on the excited mode and they sound exactly the same. Other than the ANC. That's amazing. Normally it will be one side to the other, depending on which one sounds more stronger, but they're literally on the center, the way how it sounds. Amazing. Okay, bruv, you're right. I can't really tell myself of the sound brilliance between this Super EQ and Sony XM4. Exactly what my bruv says, um, it feels like they're literally the same sound quality. The only thing I want to be picky on this whole thing is that because of the chunkiness of the design of Sony XM4, you kind of feel like it's more tightly sealed into your ear, uh, while as it, the um, Super EQ, the ANC, I think it's slightly weaker. Uh, but nonetheless, when it comes to sound quality itself, even though Sony XM4 gives you the impression that it's more tightly secured and more uh, excluded from the surrounding, they're literally the same sound quality. I would actually almost think that this is probably like a cheaper version, cheaper model of Sony XM4 by Sony, if you see what I mean. And um, I wasn't expecting this result actually. I thought probably it would be almost as good as probably Pixel 2 earbuds that I already have, but it's leveling up with one of the best earbuds that I know of that is available in the market at the moment. And it's, all, it's actually four times cheaper than Sony XM4. And to, to be honest with you, I know a lot of you are gonna argue that Sony XM4 actually has so many different functions that you could do this and that. That is quite true, but over the time, more than two or three months, you kind of get bored with all the various settings. It all comes down to the sound quality of the music. And that's why I always focus on my review on that side. And um, yes, I mean, the ANC obviously doesn't catch up with Sony XM4, but the sound quality again, is almost the same. So 
I gotta ask you, would you rather spend 240 with all these like playing around with fancy options or do you want to just focus on the sound quality itself which is literally the same quality on between these two? I would rather go with Super EQ and this is a brand new model by them as well and I'm quite impressed with it actually. I've never ever imagined all my reviews on my sound uh, earbuds or headphones I never ever ever imagined such result like today and I'm completely blown by it so well done Super EQ um, <laughs> I don't know what to say but it's it's a very unusual occasion uh, review that I made so far anyway I hope uh, this video sort of gave you the uh, honest opinion about this brand new Super EQ. I'm hugely impressed with the sound quality and I recommend you to actually uh, check out my sound review whether that actually proves on my video or why don't you get one yourself it's about 60 uh, US dollars or 60 British pounds and it's way worth getting one so please do get one and let me know your thoughts on it as well. I hope this video actually gave you a really good insight of the brand new uh, earbuds called Q2 Pro by Super EQ. If you have any queries, please do comment below and I'll be more than happy to come back to you. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.